Well, I'd say that since yesterday's video, the last one I recorded and uploaded, I've had a shower and a change of clothes, so feeling like it's a little bit better today. Hopefully, I can be coughing a little less. Got the medicine to take and feel like it's making me better, but will say that I thought I might just do maybe one last video or two where I demonstrate a little bit more how we <coughs> kind of attach the face to the back on the raccoon because I kind of thought it was similar in ways but it is a little different where this time you kind of sew it flat while in uh, on the others you kind of sew it with angles but this is how we're going to try to make our way along it right here is to just sort of like make these little slip knots and kind of work a little way up into the little cap to make it so it's going to have just a fine line and a little knot to kind of keep its head and body in place and for all little kitties and things that creatures can have resemblances to in ways and you know sometimes uh, you know raccoons and cats they can kind of remind me of a little more of each other sometimes you know some people always thought for years that skunks reminded them more of cats so it was often a thing in those days so we kind of place another little line through here and I will tell you all about some pandas that I recently sewed and showed in pictures and videos I um, didn't really have much to show as far as how they went but I just know that even though these days people classify pandas into the bear family there were the days when they classified them in the raccoon family so it's kind of a little more how the way times can just change a little bit as far as how they kind of make things come and go around and i say with this we've kind of got the little knot to make to kind of see how this shall be a little bit of work to do in the boy and I say that this is just kind of some of those things where we get a little tie the knots into the fabric and see how it's going to work a ways to do for us and I think it might even happen that before we go to other parts of the face we <coughs> might want to do this area down here around the muzzle and the neck to try to get a little thread line into there and so that's how we've gotten this so far up to that very point and do also believe that we'll probably just go ahead and maybe kind of do a little bit on the arm just to give ourselves a little leverage here and then come back around and go a little bit more up the face up to the place where we come around the top of the ear to the place where the widow's peak <coughs> is met so that's how this is going to be a little thing to see how just one little bit of work can work its way around to another and kind of see how this is just what we got to come around make it so we see 
little light lines and good lines and good little sewing kits come along and I say I say that this is just where we will probably I'd say I guess I say only go maybe as far as up to the ear perhaps we could kind of come back and sew on the ears a little later <coughs> and we've demonstrated in past videos how that was with all the creatures that had their ways with them as far as how we kind of had to sew tabs together to attach the muzzle to the face and things till we kind of got the work done in the little thing that we see as far as what we're going to have for what we've got in terms of a good lasting project to us and this is just where we're going to see come along this way come back around get a little place into the muzzle where we're going to show in a little bit of work to find how the little animal shall make a good way to be a toy or a piece of art to look at whatever you consider him likely to be and then just kind of take it down a little further to where we get up down to where we see the little arm coming in and then and then kind of just place the line right through here and kind of <coughs> get it where it's going to make its way in I think we're going to go along the other side of the raccoon and try to do the same little line of work along here to make it so it's going to have a little bit of a full face and there's been times where with others the ears have had tabs both below and above the ears and on the forehead but this is one where we don't have as many different tabs to sew around as we do on the others so I've just shown you all how I've sewn along here to make this part and how we're going to work our way up to kind of do this next little part where we sew along and kind of stitch along see what this buddy is up to with a little work he has in his ways and you know all the days when things were less affordable and it was kind of less affordable to record a video or take a picture in days and I say it just kind of gets a lot different now because you know we just have so much <coughs> common technology these days that does so much more for us these days and then I say we come along to where we're going to sort of take these little areas where we put along the little stitching line and just place a little faith in our value and our work and I say that We've gotten it to the point where we're going to value what we do a whole lot more in each and every day and each and every way and say, Oh, bless the Lord, oh my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. I say, 
come along here. Got a little up ways to go. Say we're going to do a little thing here with what we have, what we say, what we do, what we see. Could be a little difficult for me to be doing much recording while I'm still as sick as I am, but still manage to do it just to kind of get a little bit more progress made into the channel, you know, and kind of show that things are all about power and will and strength and seeing what all we can do finally come down to where I just make these other lines and the thing is that it's just a little note we have and I'd say sometime we might come back on video and maybe try to sew the ears in a little bit but <coughs> We'll have to end this video here right early so I can kind of get a drink and get myself a little freshened up and a little bit more fluid and rest like I need. So I'll be back on in a little bit to tell you all a little bit more. Even if not today, there will be some day I will and maybe the next time on to have a little bit more to show it to say so thank you all for coming on and watching this video and hope to keep up with you all in the future goodbye <laughs>